everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to make this uh, pineapple stitch bag. Um, it's kind of, it was a little hard for me to explain so I hope you'll be able to follow along okay. I just, I try to take my time with it. And, but I think once you get the hang of it, you'll be able to get it. So let's go ahead and get started on this. And for this project, I'm using Lion Brand Heartland. It's a four ply worsted weight acrylic. And I'm using a size H. It's a five millimeter crochet hook. Okay, without twisting the chain, just follow it along to the end. We're gonna slip stitch in the very first stitch. So just go ahead and go into the first stitch and slip stitch. Okay, now I'm going to chain one and that's going to count as a stitch. And now I'm going to go around and I'm going to put one single crochet in every stitch. And I want to make sure that I keep, when I get back around, that I keep my stitch count Okay, I made it back around after doing one single crochet in every stitch. I'm just going to slip stitch into that chain one that I made in the beginning. Now I'm going to be doing, in this very first stitch, I'm going to start off with a chain one. And now I'm going to double crochet three together in the same stitch that we just slip stitched into. So I'm gonna yarn over and go into that same stitch. Might be a little tight, but pull up. I'm gonna yarn over and go through the first two loops on my hook. I'm gonna yarn over and go back in. Drop the loop. Yarn over and go through the first two loops. I'm gonna do it one more time. Go through the first two loops. And I'm gonna yarn over and go through the four that's on my hook. And that is a double crochet three together. Now I'm going to chain four, skip three stitches, skip, 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 and in the fourth one, I'm going to do a single crochet. Chain three, skip a one, single crochet into the next. Then I'm going to chain four again. One, two, three, four. And now I'm going to skip three, and then I'm going to do a double crochet three together in the fourth stitch. So I'm going to yarn over and go into the fourth one, and drop a loop, yarn over and go through the first two loops, and yarn over again, go through, drop a loop, Yarn over and go through two loops. I'm going to do it again. Yarn over. Go in. Drop a loop. <coughs> yarn over and go through the first two. Then I'm going to yarn over and go through the rest on my hook. Like that. Now I'm going to chain four. One, two, three, four. Skip four, or skip three, and in the fourth one, sorry, put a single crochet, chain three, skip one, and the next one, single crochet, like that, and it's, this is kind of the repeat the whole way around. Now what I'm going to do is chain four again two, three, four, skip three, and in the fourth one I'm going to do my double crochet three together in the fourth one. So I'm going to yarn over, drop a loop, yarn over and go through the first two, 
Yarn over, go through, drop a loop. Yarn over and go through the first two. One more time. Go through the first two. And then go through all of them. And that's a double crochet three together. Chain four. Two, three, four. Skip three. And in the fourth stitch, single crochet. Chain three. Skip one stitch and the next single crochet like that, and then we start again. Chain four, one, two. skip three, and then the fourth one we'll do our double crochet three together. Chain four, skip three in the fourth one, single crochet, chain three, skip one, single crochet in the next, and then we just repeat. And we just want to repeat this pattern all the way around. Okay, I made it back around to the other side and I just did my last single crochet there and I should have three stitches left and that's what I have. So I'm going to do my chain four and then I'm going to slip stitch into the top of this double crochet three together. So, oh, so right around here, if you can get it in the top there. about like that and then slip stitch like that and that's our first row okay now we're going to chain one and we're going to do a double crochet three together on top of this double crochet three together and I'm just going to go into the same spot that I just slip stitched into so I'm going to yarn over and do my double crochet three together one two, three, yarn over, go through all of them, and now, now I'm going to do a chain of two, one, two, and I'm going to single crochet in the second stitch of this chain down here, second stitch of it, single crochet, like that, and then I'm going to do a chain one. And now I'm going to work nine double crochets in this chain three spot here. So I'm going to yarn over and go all the way through it and work nine double crochets. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and now I want to chain one, and now I'm going to single crochet in the second stitch from this again, so right here. single crochet in it and then I'm going to chain two one two and then I'm going to work my double crochet three together right here in this spot on top of this one so I'm going to yarn over and do my double crochet three together one two three Okay. So 
this is going to kind of be the repeat now. We'll look and see. See what we got here. There's two chains on each side. We leave two chain spaces on each side so the single crochets go in the third stitches from this third third going this way and third going this way. If that makes sense. Got my nine doubles. So what I'm gonna do again now, I'm just gonna repeat what I just did. I'm gonna do a chain of two and I'm gonna single crochet in the you can look at it this way. Here's where all your nine doubles are going to go. The third stitch from this spot. Or if you go this way, it's the second stitch. The single crochet in it. And I'm just going to chain one. And then I'll do my nine double crochet in this chain three spot. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Then I chain one, and then I'm going to single crochet in the third stitch from this way. Then I'm going to chain two, and then I'm going to do my double crochet. Let me redo that here. Two, and I'm going to do my double crochet three together right here on top of this double crochet three together. One, two, three. That. So that's what it looks like so far. So now I'm just going to keep repeating this sequence. Chain two again. One, two, single crochet in the, here's my chain three where my nine doubles are going to go. The third stitch from this way. So it's actually the second from this way. Hope that's not too confusing. And then it's a chain one. And then it's nine doubles in this chain three spot. One, two, nine, chain. One, and then single crochet in the third stitch from this way, and then chain two, and then we'll do our double crochet three together on top of this double crochet three together. It goes right here in this spot. One, two, three. That. And that's how this pattern, this row is going to work. We're just going to repeat this pattern. That's what it kind of looks like. So I'm going to repeat this all the way back to the beginning. Okay, I made it back around again and I did my single crochet in the third stitch from going this way. And then I did a chain two and I'm going to finish it off by slip stitching into the top of this group of double crochet three together. Slip stitch like that. Then we're going to chain one and we're going to go right back in the same spot and do another double crochet three together. Like that. And then we want to chain one
and now I'm going to do a double crochet three together in this very first double crochet of this group of nine. So I'm going to yarn over, go in it, and double crochet three together. Like that. Lost the loop on there, sorry. Okay, and then I'm going to chain three. I'm going to skip a stitch and double crochet three together in the next stitch. Chain three. Skip a stitch and double double crochet three together in the next. Chain three. Skip a stitch. Double crochet three together in the next. Chain three, and then double crochet, skip a stitch, and double crochet three together in the last stitch. Okay, and then we're going to chain one, and then we're going to come over here to this double crochet three together, and do a double crochet three together right on top of it slip stitch, or not, right on top of the stitch right here. Double crochet three together. Like that. So that's kind of what it looks like. Now we're just going to repeat that around. So we're going to chain one again. And then we're just going to jump over here to the set of nine double crochet three together in the first one chain three skip a stitch double crochet three together in the next chain three Skip a stitch, double crochet three together in the next. Chain three, skip, and then double crochet three together. Chain three. Skip a stitch and in the last stitch, double crochet three together. Like that. And then we're going to chain one, jump over here to where these are lining up, the double crochet threes together are lining up, and do another double crochet three right on top of it. So we're just going to repeat this pattern all the way around and back to the beginning. Okay, I made it back around to the beginning and I just did my last double crochet three together in this group of nine from the previous row. So I just want to chain one and then slip stitch into the top of this double crochet three together. Just like usual to close that round off. Now I'm going to chain one, go back in the same stitch, and do another double crochet three together. And I want to do a chain of two, one, two. Now I'm going to come over here and we're going to be working in these 
chain three spaces. So I'm going to single crochet in the first chain three space and I'm going to chain three again. One, two, three. And I'm going to come to the next space, chain three space, single crochet, chain three, come over to the next one, single crochet, chain three, come over to the next one, single crochet, like that. Now, that's it's gonna. That's all of them in this row. So my next spot is where my double crochet threes are lined up. So I want to chain two now and go ahead and do my double crochet three together on top of this one. Like that. So that's kind of what it's starting to look like. Now we're going to chain two, one, two. Work in the chain three spaces right here. Single crochet in the first chain three space. Chain three. Single crochet in the next one. Chain three. Single crochet in the next one. Chain three. Single crochet in the last. And then we chain two. And then we do our double crochet three together on top of the line of double crochet three together. So that line of double crochet three together that we're doing all around these lines right here, the double crochet through together, they're always going to be the same. They're always going to be a line of the double crochet through together. So we just want to repeat this pattern back around to the beginning. Okay, I made it back around and I'm getting ready to close this round off again by slip stitching into the top of my double crochet three together. I want to start again by chaining one and double crochet and three together right on top of this set. One, two, three. Now I'm going to chain three. One, two, three. And I'm going to be working in these chain three spaces. So I chain three this time right here single crochet in that chain three space, chain three, single crochet into the next chain three space, chain three, A single crochet into the next chain three space, and then chain three, and I'm where my double crochet three together's line up, so I just want to double crochet through together right here into the top of this one. Chain three, one, two, three. Jump over here into the next chain, chain three space. Single crochet, chain three. Next chain three space single crochet, chain three. The next chain three space, single crochet, chain three. And then I'm right here where my double crochet three together line up. And then I want to do another double crochet three together right on top of this one. Chain three. Jump over here to these chain three spaces and work our single crochet in the first, chain three, single crochet into the next chain three space, chain three, 
single crochet into the next chain three spaced chain three and again I'm right back here where my double crochet three together lines up and I just want to do another double crochet three together right on top so now I'm just going to repeat this pattern all the way back around to the beginning made it back around to the beginning again and I want to slip stitch into the top of my group of double crochet three together and then again I'm going to chain one and go back and do a double crochet three together like that. Now I'm going to do a chain four. One, two, three, four. And I'm going to be working in these chain three spaces right here. Go into the first one, single crochet, chain three, and then go into the next one, single crochet. And now I'm back over here where my where this lines up, so I need to chain four. One, two, three, four. Double crochet three together, right on top of this one. Chain four. One, two, three. Four. Working in these two chain three spaces, single crochet in the first one, chain three, single crochet into the next one. Now I'm going to do a chain four, one, two, three, four, double crochet three together on top of this double crochet three together. Chain four, going to be working in these two, chain three spaces, single crochet in the first, chain three, single crochet into the next, I'm going to do a chain four, and then I'm going to do my double crochet three together on top of this one. And this is the pattern that you want to repeat all the way back around to the beginning. Okay, I made it back around and I went ahead and slip stitched into the top of my group of single cro or double crochet three together. And this is what it's kind of starting to look like. You can see the little design in it. Now it's just repeating what we just did starting with these down here on this row where we did the nine doubles they're going to go in the bottom loop of this little um, looks like a strawberry kind of this little berry stitch so we'll start again starting with that row there it's just going to be repeats from now on of starting with this row down and just keep repeating this row so we start off with a, you can look and go back and see, chain two, one, two. And then it's a single crochet in the third or the second stitch or the third stitch from this loop. Remember that? So single crochet. And then it's a chain one. And then we come right here into this loop at the bottom of our little, little strawberry stitch and do nine double crochets. One, two, three, four, five. 
six, seven, eight, nine, chain one, single crochet, and a third stitch going this way. Chain two, we're right back here where these line up, so we're going to do another one right on top. Chain two, come over here, single crochet and the third stitch going this way or the second from here. Chain one, nine doubles in the last little loop of our little strawberry or pineapple or whatever it is. One, two, three, four, five. Seven, eight, nine, chain one, single crochet in the third stitch on this chain, going from here, the third stitch, chain two, then we do our double crochet, three together. And then we just repeat that row and then we just keep repeating from this row and then the next row we'll do these all these double crochet three togethers all I do what I do is I just go back and look at each row after I get all the way back around and slip stitch over here I'll come up here to the next row and I'll look and I see how many chains I need to put in between each stitch and I'll follow it around and then I'll slip stitch and I'll go to the next row and I'll look and follow it around and I'm just going to keep following these rows or you can always rewind me and watch it from here again but I'm going to go ahead and get started on this because I don't know how many rows of this that I'm going to do a few so I'll, I'll let you know how many total rows I do of this stitch here in just a few minutes okay here's what I did so far here I've done two full of the pineapples and then I did a half of one and I ended where I was doing double crochet three together around like that so that's the last row that I did where I did all the double crochet threes together so that was the last row so I tied off but remember you can always make your bag as big as you want and you just continue to go. Now I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to start working up here. Okay. I'm going to start with the slip knot on my hook and you can start anywhere that you want up at the top here. Start in any stitch. And I'm going to go into the stitch and go through that slip knot on my hook. Now I'm going to go around. I'm going to put a half double crochet in the same stitch that I just started in. And I'm going to go around and I'm going to put one half double crochet in every stitch across the top up here all the way around just like this I'm 
Okay, so one half double and every stitch along the top all the way around and back up until you get back to your starting point. Okay, I made it back around. I've done that row of half double crochets and I'm at my starting point. Now if you want to use a stitch marker here, you can so you don't lose your spot. I'm just going to use a piece of yarn. Just put it right here. Now I'm just going to jump over to the first half double crochet and half double crochet in it. Like that. Now I'm going to work um, a row of decreases. So I'm going to do five half double crochets in a row and then I'll do a half double crochet decrease. So that counts as my first one. There's two, three, four, and five. Now I'm going to do a half double crochet decrease. I'm going to yarn over, go into the next stitch, drop a loop, yarn over again, and go into the next stitch, drop a loop, yarn over, and go through all five loops. And that's a half double crochet decrease. Now I'm going to do one half double crochet in each of the next five stitches. One, two, three, four, five, and then a half double crochet decrease. I'm going to yarn over and go in the next stitch, drop a loop, yarn over, go in the next stitch, drop a loop, Yarn over and go through all five loops. Now I'm going to do one half double crochet in each of the next five stitches. There's one, two, three, four, five, and then we'll do a half double crochet decrease. And this is the pattern that we're going to repeat all the way around. Okay, I made it back to my stitch marker after that row of half double crochet and decreases. So I'm just going to move my stitch marker up. And now this time around, I'm just going to put one half double in every stitch around. So no more decreases. So just like that, one half double crochet in every stitch around. Okay, I made it back around again. I'm at my stitch marker, so I'm going to go ahead and move it. I'm going to single crochet into the next stitch, closing this round off, and then I'm going to slip stitch into the one after that. And I'm going to tie this off, and I'm going to hide that tail. And before I add a liner to this, I'm going to put some handles on it. So I'm going to go ahead and hide this tail and then whatever other ones I can find and then I'm going to work on the handles. Okay for the handles, so you can use any kind of handle you want. You don't have to do it like me. You can even buy a handle if you want. You can put one long one or two short ones or two long ones, however you want to do it. But if you want to do it like me, I'll show you how real quick. I got my bag laid out how I want, like this is the front of my bag right here. So. I folded it where all the strawberries are even. I folded it right, it right along. I made the seam a row of the double crochet three together. That's where my fold's going to be. On the same on the other side. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to count from this corner over 12 stitches. I'm going to put a stitch marker right there. And then I'm going to do it on the back side over 12 stitches. Stitch marker. And I'm going to do the same on the other side.
from the corner 12 stitches and then on the other side back the back side Twelve stitches. Okay. Now I'm going to take my yarn and I'm going to start right here. You want your good side. You want the good side facing you. So I'm going to go into this first stitch with a stitch marker. And I can move the stitch marker now, I don't need it. And go through that slip stitch on my hook. Okay. Now I'm going to start by going back into the same stitch that I just started in, doing a single crochet. Now I'm going to work my way across, putting one single crochet in every stitch. all the way until I get around to this stitch marker. Coming around here to this stitch marker, the next stitch marker, we'll work on this other, these two stitch markers on this side separately. So right now we're just working on this side of the bag. I'm going to go ahead and single crochet into the stitch with the stitch marker. So I'm going to take it out, single crochet in it, and I'm going to chain one, and then I'm going to turn my work. Now the chain one, while we're doing this, the handles is not going to count as a stitch. So what we're going to do is go right back into the same stitch and we're going to do a decrease over these first two stitches. So I'm going to go into the first stitch and drop a loop. I'm going to go into the next stitch, drop a loop, yarn over and go through all three loops. Now I'm going to work my way across again putting one single crochet in every stitch until I get to the last two stitches and the last two stitches I'm going to do a decrease. Okay, here's my last two stitches so I'm going to go into it, drop a loop, and go into the last one, drop a loop, yarn over and go through all three. I'm going to chain one, turn, and that's the row that I'm going to keep repeating. So remember that chain one doesn't count as a stitch, so we'll go right back in this very, very first one and decrease over this one. And then the next one we go in, drop a loop, yarn over, and go through all three. So that was a decrease. Now I'm going to work my way across again until I get to the last two stitches again. When I get to the last two, I do a decrease. So I'll go in, drop a loop, go into the last one, drop a loop, yarn over and go through all three. Chain one, turn, decrease again over the first two stitches. That, and then one single crochet, and every stitch across. 
until I get to this end and then I decrease over the last two. Chain one and turn, decrease over the first two. So we're just going to keep repeating these rows. Okay, I'm at my last two stitches and decrease over them, chain one and turn, decrease over the first two and go across again. So I'm just going to keep repeating these rows. Okay, I've been decreasing right here on the sides. I decrease down till I have four stitches left. One, two, three, four. So now I'm going to chain one and turn my work and I'm not going to decrease anymore so I'm going to go in and put one single crochet in each of the stitches chain one and turn and I'm just going to keep going back and forth with these row, this row of single crochet stitches chain one and turn and then across again so you can do this for like how long you want your handle to be so I'm going to keep working and I'll tell you how many rows I do okay I did 55 rows of one single crochet in each stitch for my handle you just do as many as you want your handle to be long. Now I'm going to make this side get wider so it'll match up to this side. So I'm kind of just going to do the opposite of what we just did. I'm going to chain one and turn. I'm going to put two double crochets in the first stitch. Instead of decreasing, I'm increasing. So I'm going to put two in that first stitch and then two in the last stitch. Two in this one. Chain one, turn, two in the very first stitch, one single crochet across until you get to the last stitch, right here, and put two in the last stitch. Chain one, turn, two in the very first stitch, one single crochet across, and then two in the last stitch. So this is what I'm going to do, keep doing this until this gets as wide as what it is down here. So we just, see we're making a match up, we're making it wider now. And you need to do this one to match this side, If you did, just keep adding two stitches in the first and two stitches in the last. And then we'll sew it on to the other side. Okay, I went ahead and I added it, the increases at the end, until it ended up being the same size as this. You can just hold it up and measure it to where it's the same size to where this started. So, okay, and I'm going to slip stitch this on, this piece. So I'm going to start where my stitch marker was. Now you want to make sure your handle's not crooked. But I'm going to slip stitch it on from the inside. So I'm going to follow my handle up like this to where it's not crooked. But I'm going to flip it up and sew it this way. So I'm going to start where my first stitch marker was.
How about the slip knot here? I'm gonna go in to the stitch where my stitch marker was and then the first stitch on this piece and I'm going to go through that slip knot that's on my hook and now I'm just going to go across slip stitching this piece on go through this one and then the next stitch on this piece slip stitch Slip stitch. All the way down. Until you get all the way around and it should match up with this other stitch marker. And then you can tie off. Okay, I got that sewed on, and I'm going to kind of stretch the seam a little bit like this. That way there's not like a big indention here. And now I'm going to start again, and I'm going to go around the, down the sides, around the front, back up this side, and all around the handle on both sides of the back. So you can start anywhere that you want. Probably just going to start right here in the corner stitch or this stitch. And I'm going to do one single crochet in every stitch. And this is just to clean up the edges. So I'm going to go into this first stitch I just started in, single crochet. And now I'm going to go up this and all around the handle and back down and back around the front. And with one single crochet in every stitch and that will clean this all up and I'm going to do that on both sides so I'm going to go ahead and work on that and once I get back around here I'll just slip stitch into my first stitch and tie off and I'll flip it over and do the other side I still have to do the other side, but I'll do that here in just a little bit. I'm going to now sew up the bottom. I'm going to flip my bag wrong side out. But you want to get it lined up still. Get it lined up even. You gotta have these lined up like this. So you're going in the same stitches on both pieces. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it this way. I'm gonna sew it together down here. I'm just gonna make sure both sides are lined up even. Like these chain three spaces, they all match each other. So I'm just gonna start right here in this chain three space. And I'm going to slip stitch through that stitch on my hook. Okay, I'm going to start off and I'm going to do three single crochets through this chain three space. One, two, three. And then where there is the double crochet three together, I'm going to go on the top of that. And then the top on the one on the other side, single crochet. Match up these three chain three spaces and do three single crochets right through the chains and now I'm at a double crochet three together go on the top of that one and then the top on the one behind it and now they're matching up these chain three spaces three single crochets and this is all it's going to be all the way down this is making sure you're matching up your stitches 
three single crochets in the chain three spaces. Like that. And then in these chain one spaces here, in between this row of double crochet three together, I'm just going to put one single crochet. And then go on the top of this one, and then the top of this one, single crochet, single crochet one time in that space, and then the top of this one, and then the top of this one, single crochet. So that's what I'm going to do all the way down. Just making sure that the pieces are lined up. I finished the sew on the bottom and I just flipped it inside, right side out. So that is finished. And now all you want to do, all you got to do is line it. Which I'll probably line it off camera, but I'll just give you a real quick tip how to do it. You just take a piece of fabric and fold it in half. Cut it to the side, your right side. So I already got. on it like that and then you just cut it to size like this leave a little bit of an overhang on both sides and at the top you have to leave it a little bit bigger and then you just take your you can hand sew it or use a sewing machine and sew up the sides of your piece of fabric sew up both sides I gotta cut it a little better but sew up both sides of your piece of fabric and then you can shove it in there and this will be at the top and you just fold it down and pin it and then sew it on by hand at the top of the brim or up here I'll probably sew mine somewhere around here but I have a video too of how to put a liner and stuff in a bag so I'll put the link to that on the screen but um, that's it I hope that you were able to follow along okay with this bag I know it was a little bit difficult probably it was hard for me to explain but hopefully you got it and if you did I'd like to see a picture of it you can put it on my Facebook page um, I'll put a link for that below in the description box and until next time have a good day